Chinese anime, as the name suggests, refers to animation that have been created in China or are Chinese adaptations of manhua, which are often called as donghua. With multiple manhuas making tides, both domestically and internationally, Chinese anime too is witnessing a massive spike in viewership as well as a drastic increase in the quality of animation. Donghua have managed to integrate several elements from the Japanese anime but have also created a unique identity for themselves by adding rich cultural folklores and meanings, creating something very exceptional. With intricate artwork, exhilarating fight scenes and well-woven storylines, Donghuas are no longer just a niche and are slowly making their way into the mainstream media. With that said, let's get started with our top 10 list of Chinese anime that you should definitely watch if you want to get into this medium. Starting off our list with the anime called Under One Person. One day on his way to visit his grandfather's grave, Zhang Chulan is attacked by zombies in a graveyard. In the midst of that situation, he is saved by a mysterious girl who wields kitchen knives in order to kill the enemies. The girl tells Chulan who is now relieved to face his hardship head on and leaves. However, Chulan later sees this girl again at his university. From that moment, Zhang Chulan's destiny begins to move. There will be strangers with special powers appearing one by one with battles involving those abilities. Each episode will bring a new mystery to the light. Under One Person is a collaboration between Chinese and Japanese anime television series adapted from a webcomic of the same title. On the next number, the anime is Full Time Magister. The aloof high schooler Mo Fan has found himself in the universe similar yet distinctly different from his own mundane one. It's a place where magic has replaced the essence of science. Mo Fan, despite being poor, enters this new world, enters the renowned magic school, all to become a magician to support his father and crippled sister. However, rumors spread about his poverty and lack of magical abilities, labeling him as the laughing stock of the school. Nonetheless, he manages to harness not only the powerful fire element but also the rare lightning element too. Endowed with two abilities, Mo Fan begins his journey to become a fully fledged magician strong enough to protect his dear family. On the next number, the anime is My Cultivator Girlfriend. My Cultivator Girlfriend is set in the modern world with not so modern rules and traditions. The strong trample over the weak and the weak have no choice but to obey. The story follows the adventures of Ma Yingxiong, a security guard, as he steps into the world of cultivation after saving Lu Zi, a female cultivator. There are 15 episodes with each episode having a duration of 13 minutes, making this a very short watch. The characters are very well defined with intriguing backstories and qualities, and the overall hilarious outlay of the Donghua makes this a very enjoyable experience. On the next number, the anime is Spirit Pact. Based on a web manhua of the same name and animated by Heavenly Air Animation League, Spirit Pact follows the adventures of Yu Keika, a failed exorcist, and Ki Tamoku, a head of the powerful family of exorcists, as they face various challenges in the spiritual world, all the while figuring out the true meaning behind the bond they share. The pair of Yu Keika and Ki Tamoku manages to grab the spotlight with their humorous yet mildly heartwarming relationship. With sweet humor, action and art all balanced in an amazing proportion, Spirit Pact manages to keep the viewers engaged from the very first episode and is a donghua that will keep you hooked until the very end. On the next number, the anime is The King's Avatar. The King's Avatar is an acclaimed Chinese anime based on the web novel by Hu Die Ian. The series depicts the fictional sports scene in China where the story revolves around a multiplayer online video game called Glory. Widely considered the best player of the video game Glory, Yek Sui was the captain of the eSport team before being forced to resign from the team, giving up one of the strongest accounts in the game. He ends up finding work as a night shift manager at Happy International Cafe, where he meets Che Gyo, the owner of the cafe who happens to be a huge fan of Elias Ye Kui, which was his former team. While awaiting his return to the competitive scene, Yek Sui continues to playing the game and building a character from scratch and pursuing the championship and the glory. On the next number, the anime is Monster List. This Donghua is set into a world where unbeknown knows to humans, there are monsters that take on the form of humans, co-living with humans, a storytelling driven by faith and promises. In the first arc, it starts off with hot seduction on men with a spirit monster girl called as He Huan absorbing their life force and killing them. The protagonist Feng Zi's life changes when turns out his new girlfriend Sui Jior is also a monster wolf girl. 
Soon knows that Feng Zi has long forgotten who she really was. They were together before. Vulnerable right now, she wants to protect him from other monsters. When Feng Zi and Su crosses with Hei Huan, it tells the tale of these monsters as they approach the protagonist to converse and fight for their promises. Overall, I have seen better, but this is not as bad as you may think. Sure, it's a bit rocky at first, but the 10-minute episode length and a good enough story should allow you to watch all of the 18 episodes. And I mean, for self-enjoyment, I give it an 8 out of 10. On the next number, the anime is adorable food goddess, glutinous and tomboyish. Lanmo is hardly anyone's ideal girl, but with a magical hair clip from a mysterious trinket shop that disappears the next day, she may be able to become just that. With its power, she can transform into a beautiful and feminine young lady. Someone who may finally be able to catch the eye of her childhood friend and crush, Liu Yifeng. However, keeping the clips as secrets proves difficult for Lan Mo when faced with Li Yifeng's admirers and a mysterious stranger Xia An. And to further complicate matters, Lan Mo's possession of the hair clip may just turn out to be more than just merry coincidence. With 9 episodes, each having a duration of 13 minutes, Lan Mo Dehua is an easy series to binge but without feeling rushed. And is that one series that will leave viewers feeling all warm and fuzzy. On the next number, the anime is Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation. Xian is a state of immortality that all cultivators strive to achieve. However, there is a dark energy that lies underneath, the forbidden Mo Dao, a demonic path. Through an unfortunate series of tragedies, this is the path that Cultivator Wei experiments with during his teaching. His rise in power is accompanied by chaos and destruction. But his reign of terror comes to an abrupt end when the Cultivation Clan overpowers him and he is killed by his closest ally. Thirteen years later, Wei is reincarnated into a body of a lunatic and reunited with Lan Wangi, a former classmate of his. This marks the beginning of a supernatural mystery that plagues the clan and threatens to disrupt their everyday life. Mo Dao Zushi follows these two men on their mission to unravel the mysteries of the spiritual world. Fighting demons, ghosts and even other cultivators, the two ends up forming a bond that neither of them has ever expected. On the second number, the anime is Rakshasa Street. Rakshasa Street follows the story of Xia Ling, an ordinary university intern as she is inadvertently plunged into a world filled with evil spirits as danger lurks at each and every corner. The Donghua is based on a manhua bearing the same name and is produced by Liu Heng Yu and Li Zhu Jie Studio. The story starts slowly but gradually picks up pace, resulting in a plot that demands a bit of patience from its viewers but rewards them quickly with unseen twists and cliffhangers. And finally on the first number, the anime is Link Click. In the corner of a busy city, there is a small store called Time Photo Studio that is open for business as usual. Although the entrance looks abandoned, it is actually run by two men with supernatural abilities, Cheng Shuashi and Lu Guang. In order to fulfill their customers' request, Lu Guang and Cheng Shuashi teams up to use their supernatural powers to enter photos. But every time they jump into the picture, they take a great risk. One wrong move and they could alter the future of the person who took the picture and possibly countless other events too. So the events that they are forced to live through these pictures starts to become personal. They have to put their feelings aside and focus on accomplishing their task that they were paid to do. Which one of the following Chinese anime or Donghua is your favorite? Feel free to comment your thoughts down below and make sure to recommend some other animes like the ones listed in this video. And also if you enjoyed this video, check out my other two videos over here. And that's it for today's video guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post regular anime content on this YouTube channel. And again, I will see you in the next one. Sayonara.